Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? This is Frope doing a little collaboration with Rival X Factor. Now, you might remember him from playing with Team Rival. He's a great guy and what's going to happen is we're going to break down a few of his favorite tips. It's going to be a little two-part series for now. And I was able to pick out his brain and these were the top five tips that came on the top of his head. So hopefully these help you become a better player and expand your gameplay. And I hope you guys enjoy these tips. Uh, I know I had a lot of fun playing with X Factor, and uh, Sloish Bob even managed to pull off a tea bag, it would appear. So enjoy the video, guys. All right, so X Factor, what's uh, one of your top five plays here to becoming a better player? One of the things is learning how to use grenades to your advantage, uh, and you set grenades and bounce nades uh, in certain areas. Uh, we're over here in Bazaar between A and B, and this is an absolute clusterfuck of people, and you know, we know, we see Frope there, and we know there's people back there, okay? So let's say they're taking some damage from RPGs, and they go to retreat. See where this nade's going? Bouncing high off the wall? It's going to kill three or four people behind that wall every single time. So whether you see somebody there or not, chuck that grenade. If you get hit coins, that just told you a tale that people are there, so you need to come in hot or prepared and take a position and move up. That grenade can be thrown from any angle from where I'm standing at. You just have to get it up above this peak that I'm shooting at right here. ...from RPGs, and they go to retreat. See where this nade's going? Bouncing high off the wall. It's going to kill three. All right, what other great tips do you have for us, X-Factor? Uh, the next one, and the most important thing, is learn how to shoot and learn how to burst fire and tap fire because you're wasting ammo if you drop the trigger uh, on medium to long range like uh, Senior Frope is back here. Um, you really want to minimize the bullets it takes to kill him. And the only way you can do that is shoot in uh, bursts of five to seven. So let's see how this looks here. Two bursts, headshot, man down. If you're to just lay on the trigger like I am now and just control that recoil, it's going to do you no good because those bullets are spraying way up and over uh, of where they need to be. So again, if you reset and burst fire, it's going to keep those bullets the closest to uh, the center of your target and your aim as you need them to be to kill somebody. So what else do you have for me today, X Factor? Um, learning to listen. Your, your eyes are about 70% of the game. Your ears are the other 30%. This game has a lot of audio cues to give away where the enemy may or not be. Obviously, the f most important thing is to remember what side you're on. I'm Russian, so I'm listening for American accents, American words, and things of that nature. So it's not just where the gunfire is coming from, because that's an easy giveaway. What about the guy that's not shooting? What about the guy that's got to throw down a med pack or support kit or throw a grenade? So let's see what that sounds like and how that can help us. Hey, grab that ammo. Okay, we heard just uh, American voice grab that ammo in my right ear. I could come pre-fire this corner like a lot of you guys know I do. Okay, Fro, go ahead and move a spot and throw a grenade or something. Keep your head down, frag out. Okay, grenade. left ear, and guess what? His teammate even made a sound because it... It landed near him, okay? Everything you do, there is an 80 to 90% chance that there's going to be a vocal that comes with it. Whether it's throwing a med bag, a support bag, or throwing a grenade, or uh, rezzing somebody, okay? Med there's a lot yet. of stuff that goes on vocally for the audio profile in this game that can make you a better player and basically tell you where the guys are on the map. And remember, if there's one guy, there might be four. Don't forget about the old mighty squad bomb, so don't ever assume that's just one guy in a spot. Usually people huddle up on these med bags, so remember that. All right, X-Factor, here's something I've been wondering. How do you approach a corner? How do I approach a corner? I approach a corner, whether it's this map or any map, like there's somebody standing on the other side because you can't predict people you think you might know because on the mini map it's clear, but maybe the guy was using silencer or hasn't shot yet or he's just lying still waiting for two or three more people to spawn off him. Okay, so what you don't do is run around a corner, okay, because you get killed. Okay, so what happens is when you get caught sprinting and running around a corner, um, there is a delay for you to go ADS or hip fire, and your cone of fire is all wonky to begin with. There's a little bit of a penalty. So you never run around the corner. And this next little video, this next clip, will show you what to do. 
So what is the right way to do it then? The right way to do it, to take a corner, is obviously you want to check off any threats. Um, obviously I'm looking forward here. And then I want to at least come ready to uh, shoot because I don't know what's around here. So I'm going to slow peek maybe. No. Okay. And clear. Don't ever get caught sprinting. I can sprint from here to here. But don't ever get caught sprinting around corners because against even a moderately uh, skilled player, you're going to die nine times out of ten. If there's a guy like me or a guy who's got a quick reaction time, you're going to die 99.9% .9 of the time. So always approach your corners. Take it slow because you've got everything to lose basically if you don't. And then press up. Use one spot to cover, then use the next spot to cover, but never sprint around a corner. That's a free kill. I'm ready to uh, shoot because I don't know what's around here, so I'm going to slow peek maybe. No. Okay, and clear. Don't ever get caught sprinting. I can sprint from here to here, but don't. All right, X Factor. Those have been some pretty interesting tips. What do you have for the last one here? The last one is two part tip. Don't be a fail sniper. They're not really helpful to playing the objective. And if you really want to be a team player, you want to be aggressive and take flags and cap flags. So, how can you be a recon player and how can it help your team? Mav Park. Grab a Mav. Don't mow people because that's disappearing come next patch anyway. And I think it's a lame tac tactic. But squeeze your Mav up in a hard to reach spot. And what does that do? I could see the enemy moving around on my screen. Okay, I see a guy to my left in their spawn. And grab an MP7 death machine or a PDW and play aggressive. You're going to notice with this weapon, it has insane hip fire. And we can kind of pick the guy off without having to zoom in, okay? And then obviously with no. the mini map and the radar, I knew where he was at. He didn't have to say anything. He didn't have to throw a grenade. He didn't have to shoot. I already knew. So use a Mav creatively. Uh, Metro, Bazaar, Sane, any of the high population maps where there's points like B at Bazaar or C at Sane. Oh, and again, we see these guys in the mini map. Uh, this, this gun's nasty. Get the extended mag. Get the laser. You'll never use the sight, so it doesn't matter what you put on the thing. And uh, have some fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick video of some of Rival X Factor's top tips. So please check out his uh, channel. He's got definitely some great videos on all sorts of tips. Uh, there's definitely some that I've learned checking out his channel. So make sure also to give us some feedback. You know, there's a lot of topics that he can cover. He has a lot of experience uh, in competitive gameplay. So hopefully these tips will help you guys in, in your gameplay as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So it's going to be Frope signing out. Peace, guys.